once the village of Anavra looked like it was doomed. Out in the middle of nowhere, it's a long way off the beaten track. Vasilis Pantaleon grew up here, and he's an expert on local history. Until a few years ago, we didn't even have paved streets. Imagine that. There was mud everywhere. The cattle roamed through the village, leaving muck all over the place. The village was in a terrible state. It wasn't somewhere anyone wanted to live. Nobody cared about anything. A lot of people moved away. Laki's Papas was among those who stayed. A cattle breeder, he decided to take matters into his own hands instead of just complaining. He bought some expensive cattle from France and went organic. Other local stock farmers did the same. To be honest, switching to organic was a serious risk. The conditions were right, but we didn't have the faintest idea what exactly we needed to do. In this region, there was no example to follow. And we didn't know if the customers would accept paying higher prices for meat. Greece isn't a rich country, after all. All of us here in Anavra realized that we needed to do something to save our village. But we would never have managed had it not been for our mayor. That's Dimitris Tsukalas, a man who's passionate about environmental issues. He recently oversaw the opening of an environmental and cultural park called Gura, which he hopes will draw visitors. It's also a boon to the villagers. A traditional washing device has been renovated, allowing locals to clean their carpets the old-fashioned and environmentally sound way. I lived in Athens for a long time, and that's where I first heard about environmental practices. I immediately realized that if our village started implementing these ideas, it would be of immense benefit. It's actually very easy because EU subsidies for this sort of project are very generous. You just need to have the right ideas. The mayor's big idea was wind generators. These wind turbines have been leased by the village, and that puts 100,000 euros in the community coffers every year. I don't really understand how it works, but the important thing is that our village makes money, and the turbines are up on the hills where they don't bother anyone. The money the village has made has been well spent. A new elementary school opened a few years ago. And that's just as well, because the population is growing. That's very unusual for a tiny Greek village. It's amazing how much is done for the children. In the past, they had to take a bus to a school in another village 40 kilometers away. It was a nightmare. And having a village school means a lot to parents. They don't move away because they know their children are well looked after. The village still doesn't have a cinema, but there is a new community center. Ten years ago, no one could have predicted that the village would turn out so well. There's full employment and we're all earning well. I could weep for joy when I think about it. Anavra, a village where everyone's living happily ever after. And no one has any plans to leave.